Hey, Vocal.org. Welcome to VTV. This is a new video podcast presented by the Great Lake Station, Vocal.org, 89.5 FM, Lake Michigan. And on the phone, we have Courtney representing from New York. Courtney representing from New York, but you're from? Oh, born and raised Chicago till I die, baby. Okay. And we have in the studio Nikki. Nikki, what's your vocal name? Tricky. Tricky. Tricky Nikki Vocalo user Tricky Nikki. And today we're doing a restaurant review. And we actually went all the way to Amsterdam in the Netherlands in Holland to go to the Supper Club. Everything about it is a surprise. Like it's a five course meal, but you have no idea what you're going to eat. And they don't really tell you until after you try it. So they really don't tell you what you're going to eat until afterwards. So you went there before, right, Nick? Yeah, it was. Forget the food. Let's talk about when you first walk in. The biggest surprise of all is the hostess the or hostess. host. Host or hostess. Uh, trans, a transgender person. Sunny. Cover girl Sunny. So, Courtney, you think Sunny's beautiful. I think she's like one of the most beautiful transgender individuals I've ever met. Like, she is striking. And, I mean, yes, the Adam's apple is uh, quite prevalent. However, she's pretty fly. She's fly. However, when I went, she had braces and not. No, 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 no. Not that's the server. <laughs> You're talking about the Marilyn Manson server. Oh, that's who I'm talking about. Cover Girl Sunny is is a, actually attractive uh, human being. That's what you're saying. You're saying yes. he is. She's attractive. Yeah, she's the one who's like the. She's like near the DJ booth and she walks you in when you first get there, but I don't, she might not have been there that there, yeah, well, We're showing some video clip footage of it now. On, but I was asking on Brian if he thought. If I thought she was attractive. <laughs> oh. Um, y- yes. Okay. On <laughs> record. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you did not, if you told me it was a man, I would be surprised and I'll say, well, that man is looking very attractive as a woman. Mm, well, man. Well, man. Nice. <laughs> So let's keep it moving. So let's go through actually through the meals and the, uh, I guess, courses and dishes that we had, Courtney. So wait, first. Wait, can I say one thing? Yes. Mr. Babylon. Yes. Um, the other interesting aspect of this restaurant is that there's no tables or chairs. Um, you sit on these cushions right. and they have little trays. So you have to take off your shoes when you get up on the cushions, which is another very kind of strange element so you're you're laying in a bed in amsterdam eating food with transgender hosts and marilyn manson lookalike waitresses with this exotic intoxicating music very yeah. good music uh very good djs and um hold on and actually if you guys can see in this clip our server had on some tidy little boy briefs now is that a man no it's a woman no i think that's a real woman that's a real woman What's interesting about her is that by the end of the night with all of the narcotics and liquor that flows, Mm -hmm. she's gorgeous. At the end, 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 end of the night. When you first walk in, though, she's frightening and you are nervous. It's like um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. yes. Like you think you're never coming back. Yes. Right. Time warp again. Time yes. warp. You're, you're dead. Thanks, yes. Brian. Yes. Thanks for <laughs> recommending this place. So <laughs> let's let's get to the food because the food actually is very good. Yes. So, yes. Courtney, on tap first, we had a salad with warm shrimp and fancy lettuce. What was that? Yeah, I think that was a great description because I don't really know. <laughs> what is, what is fancy lettuce called? Oh, that like... Mixed for- greens? Nah, no, but it was even It was, almost, it was almost, uh, almost like a whole bunch of uh, and shamrocks. And, and radici, all that stuff. Radi- Radicio and no, arugula. Four, it looked like a whole bunch of four-leaf clovers. What do you call that? Four-leaf clover. So it was like four-leaf clover lettuce. <laughs> and Dandelions. Dandelions and like some like warm shrimp that was very good. Nice. Yeah, it was great. So let's move on to the soup. The second dish was soup. Mm-hmm. And... Um, what kind of soup was that? That was carrot and guacamole soup. Oh, carrot with, no, not guacamole. Carrot with uh, avocado. Avocado, an avocado slice on top. Oh, that sounds delicious. Avocado it cream slice. So av- avocado cream slice, carrot with avocado cream slice. So what do they do if you have allergies or don't eat shellfish? You have to say that in the beginning. Okay. And you can get a vegetarian option as well. Yes. Okay. For for the uh, for the French. They're probably more than that. They're not risk takers. Um, <laughs> let's let's move into the after that. What what was it? 
Did then have, we had. Oh, we had like a swordfish and. Sword. Oh, it's not sword? <laughs> Mr. Babylon, <laughs> I will walk out of here. Sword. <laughs> like this is the Wu Tang. <laughs> I was like, the ghetto boy said, I live by the sword. Yeah, that was. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we had a, what is it? Sword. Swordfish <laughs> with uh, almond. Caramelized onions and marinated cashews, I believe. Wow. It was delicious. It I was didn't great. have any of that when I went. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like salmon or halibut. And the thing is, here at Vocalo.org, I want you guys to call the number on the screen, 888-635-1112, and tell me what you think about this menu so far, if you think you can create a fancy pants. Because uh, I don't eat fancy all the time. Not at all, ever. But when I do, I would do it in this setting, in, uh, with a transgender host and Marilyn Manson waitresses. So we had sw- swordfish, nuts, and onions yeah <laughs> and then Courtney let's go ahead and talk about uh, our show Nikki the clip of the halftime dinner entertainment and when I was looking at this Usama here at Vocalo.org came to my mind and this was a, a time when I wish Usama was with me because he would love things like this okay he's our resident like vampire dude yeah who's who's on staff here he is on about the underbelly of society and like you know, the vice is nice, the, the dark side of things. And he, I think he would like it. What do you think about the halftime show, Courtney? It was, it was def- it's crazy. I mean, it was like the Hannibal Hannibal Lecter kind of takeoff as your halftime meal entertainment. This man comes out covered in like red latex that is supposed to simulate blood on his head, hands, and arms. And then he like changes clothes into his work clothes. Like the end of the, I think it's the end of, Silence of the Lambs, where he just walks out with that hat and the shirt and tie. And so basically, you see this guy transform from being bloody. Like a, a bloody serial killer who's fresh right. off of work. Yeah, because he had on like a butcher's outfit with the butcher's right. gloves and the butcher's apron. And then he takes yes. the apron off and everything's red and bloody. Then he takes the gloves off and everything's like slick. And he's singing yes. this song. And then by the end, as he's taking everything off, he turns into like your everyday business. What do, do you guys think this is good halftime entertainment for a meal? <laughs> but if you're on vacation in Amsterdam doing as the Amsterdonians do, it's like who cares? So that was entertaining, entertaining. I would love to get you guys' take on that. So call up, call us up here at 888-635-1112 and give me your take or leave a post or comment on the vocalo.org website. Let's move to the the main course, which was lamb. Courtney? Yeah. The lamb chops. Um, it was lamb chops with mashed sweet potatoes. It was really delicious. Now, is um, it mashed sweet... Is it sweet potato mashed potatoes or just mashed sweet potatoes? They have sweet potatoes? Yeah, they yeah, have the Dutch, the Dutch have sweet potatoes. They call them yams, too, or...? No, no. <laughs> they, ca- they call them smurf droppings. <laughs> Do they have sweet potato pie? I'm sorry. I'm getting off course. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so it had sweet potato mashed potatoes with uh, lamb. And according, you thought the lamb was a little too... Yes. Too bad. Too... It was It was pretty much alive. So I, I, I actually just took a little bite and, and let Brian finish it off. But it was... I mean, I like rare meat, but this was like... Uh, this was like the butcher just brought it out. The butcher we just saw. <laughs> right. It was like he had just brought it out. <laughs> Maybe he was making a statement like, I'm out of here. Y'all don't pay me enough. Peace. And lastly, good dessert, which was a orange cream brulee. Yeah. With ice cream. Over that, a dried plum. Plum. Like, wow. That was served that was great. on a bed of dried plum. Lovely. Yeah. Now, I'm not really about all this artsy-fartsy, fancy-pantsy food, but I actually did have a good time, and I would recommend this if anyone is ever in, the, in Holland. And you know a dry plum, plum is a prune, right?